Hey, what's up guys? This is my video for the Valiant Optics Lynx 4 to 16 by 50. Now, like all my other videos, I'm gonna show you this thing up close. I'm gonna show it to you downrange at 100 yards to show you how it tracked, how it performed. And then I'll be back here in just a minute with some final thoughts. Okay, there she is. Now, it's, it's a good looking little scope. Comes with some flip up scope caps, little owner's manual, fast focus eyepiece that, by the way, is very, very smooth. It doesn't have a rubber protection cup on it, but then again, it has enough eye relief, you probably wouldn't need one. The magnification ring is really tight, as a lot of scopes are when they're new. Now, the more I played with it, the more it loosened up and it got a little smoother. Now, right here on the side, it has an 11 step illumination. It illuminates in red only, and it has one stop that is off. Now, it doesn't stop in between. It takes a standard CR2032 battery, which almost every illuminated scope uses. Now, on the side focus, it goes down to 10 yards, and it is very, very smooth. I really enjoyed playing with it. As you can see, it's an MOA scope. One click equals one quarter MOA. So it's gonna to translate to about a quarter inch per click at 100 yards on windage and elevation. Now the turrets are a little bit mushy, but you can feel the clicks more than you can hear it. They're very easy to pick up in a quiet room, but outside they're not as loud as some other turrets that I've tested. Both can be re-zeroed by undoing the little screw. Just pick it up. Once you get it zeroed, it's all sealed with O-rings, so you don't have to worry about any moisture getting back in the scope. Reinsert the turret with the line on the zero, tighten her back down, and then you can play with it and take it back to zero. And when you flip it over, you can see on the bottom it's made in the Czech Republic. Now we're going to do all the testing here at 100 yards. I'm doing the magnification point of impact shift test first. I didn't see any shift of any kind and I played with it for quite a while. And right here is the test that it kind of failed. This is the focus point of impact shift. I've got this thing perfectly optically centered. And as I'm adjusting it, you can see there's a point of impact shift. Now right here, you're going to see the vertical tracking, return to zero, horizontal, and a full rotation in each direction box test. But a couple of things I wanted to point out about this scope. One is, I really like the size of the mill dots on the reticle. So many of these mill dot scopes, it is so freaking huge. At 100 yards, it looks like you're covering up something the size of a beer can. This one's not like that, as you can see. And something that I'm hoping transfers to video well is just how clear this scope is. The thing best about this is the glass. Okay, guys, you're going to see a link below to Valiant. Now, here in the U.S., as far as I know, there's only one dealer, and that's Utah Air Guns. But I can see that they're going to catch on. This is my first of three Valiant Optics reviews, and this was their low-end budget scope. Now, these things are made in the Czech Republic, and believe me when I tell you, the next step up in their scopes is a step up. This is their entry-level scope, and it performed like an entry-level scope. If you're interested in something that's second focal plane, mill dot, illuminated, this may be a real good choice for you. Is it perfect? Hell no. But no scope in this price range is going to be perfect. But for its price, is it good? I kind of dug it because I still enjoy second focal plane, and there's a lot of us out there just like me that are still interested in, in MOA instead of meal and meal dots. Take care guys, if you enjoyed the video, you might enjoy these two right here, may have some stuff that you'll be interested in and make sure and share my channel with your damn shooting buddies because let's face it, I'm not the smartest son of a bitch in the world, but I enjoy doing this and I enjoy giving honest reviews and I know that Valiant wanted nothing from me but an honest review, so there you go. Take care guys.